So the final four races on day two of week three. Then it's the crowning handicap, which is first up for me, and that's a two and a quarter mile naught to eighty. And the top one is God Del Derek Hinton. Point of interest, Alex Cherry. Hey, Constable, Carla Agante, Force 10, Kevin Minahan, Javelin, Carla Agante, Frosty Voluga, Darren Howes, Capdor Silva and Rum C are both Doug Warren. And Frosty Geronimo is Darren Howes. So, we'll have them with two runners then. Just nine in the field, so. Wide open race. We get an aerial sweep. On the helicopter, Stu likes doing this. We should have got Stu to comment on this race, really, because he's been sending out the helicopters going round and round. I'm not quite sure what the point is, to be honest, on a flat track, but anyway. All very nice. Anyway, they're all installed. And away they go with the two Darren House horses. A little bit slow to go. Frosty Geronimo and Frosty Voluga. They sort themselves out through the first furlong. So racing away from us, and now we get a look at them. From the side, and it's Capdor Silver on the far side for Doug, and on the near side, Hey Constable for Carla Agante, the second of Doug's horses. Rum sees also the leading group, and then God Dells after that one with Javelin, the second Carla Agante horse, tucked in in fourth, and a bit of a gap back to Frosty Geronimo, who's made up for that slow start. Force 10, Frosty Voluga, and finally, point of interest. So, coming up past the stand, then, and now getting a view from the top of it. See them in the distance making their way towards us. Biggest of crowds. Capital Silver won't mind about that in the lead. You can see by about two lengths as they race past us, past the winning post and away. Turn right handed off for a complete circuit and Capital Silver gets across to the fence and he's in the lead. Four in a line then. Hey Constable, Javelin, God Delt and Rum C. Gap of about five lengths, then back to Force 10, Frosty Geronimo and Frosty Voluga. They're all pretty much together as well. And point of interest is just a length off the, on the back. So, Capdor Silver's gone on then, racing downhill now. By about three to Goddell in second. And Hay Constable, Rumsey and Javelin there, well clear. A good five or six lengths. And Force 10 to Frosty Horses, Voluga and Geronimo together. And then point of interest just at the back of the field, being scrubbed along a little bit there, but plenty close enough, and they've still got a mile and a quarter to go. And Capital Silver it is then. I'm sure the Doug's had a winner yet this season. Looking we'll for his first one, maybe. A Constable second, and Goddell is third, Rumsey is fourth, Javelin is fifth, that's the leading five, and then the back four, who are about four lengths adrift, are headed by Kevin Minahan's Force 10. We have Frosty Beluga and Frosty Geronimo. On the outside of point of interest, so. Captain Dawson, what is then? These two miles, two and a quarter mile horses for Doug Warren. Is he hoping one of them's going to sneak into the Melbourne Cup later in the season? Maybe Need to be a little bit better than an auto if they're going to do that, but yeah, I know. And Captain Dawson Silver is in the lead. Hey, Constable, second. And Goddell, Rumsey, and Javelin just being driven along up the outside. I don't want to take much closer order. Running on towards his stable companion. That leading five are still good five lengths clear, and they've maintained that five length advantage over the remainder for most of the race. They come down towards the final five furlongs. Capdor Silver leads by about two and a half, three lengths to Hay Constable second. Javelin, Rumsey, and Goddell versely together. And the back four, they're going to have to get going soon. Good four or five lengths to make up on the leaders. And Capdor Silver looks like it may have gone for home already with just four furlongs still to go. And Capdor Silver certainly seems to be accelerating and has now gone four lengths clear on his own from Javelin and Hay Constable. And Rum C's coming on as well with Force 10 catching up with Goddell. And suddenly the field are in pretty strong out formation. Capdor Silver's clearing the lead, but did he go too soon? Rumsey's trying to close the one that's making eye-catching progress in the back is Force 10 as they come down towards the mile of uh, the furlong and a half point and Capdor Silver and Rumsey are in the lead but here comes Force 10 on the outside who looks like he's poised to strike at any time he likes as they pass the furlong pole. It'll be heartbreak for Doug Warren here. Capdor Silver and Rumsey but now all of a sudden Force 10's got one more left in the tank and Rumsey, Capdor Silver could be a one-two for Doug. It's Capdor Silver and Rumsey as they race up towards one they're gonna do it. Capdor Silver, Rumsey, Rumsey wins it. Capdor Silver, second, Javelin, third, Force 10 went out like a light. Well, like Force 2 in the end. 
and Doug Warren won two. Well, that's his first win of the season. It's a pretty impressive way to do it. And the was Capdor Silver in there deliberately to set the pace for Rumsey? Hmm, interesting. We'll have to see what he's got to say about that one. And I'm sure he'll be uh, dancing around with your light. I don't want to uh, ask it. Rumsey, the winner. Capdor Silver second, both for Doug Warren. Javelin third for Carl Aragante. Fourth ten for Kevin Meenahan was fourth. He must have thought that was all over the winner with half a furlong to go. And then Darren Howells' Frosty Voluga ran on to be fifth.